Good morning, guys. It's early. It's kind of not a very sunny day today. Just showing what I'm having for breakfast. It's buckwheat with some fruits. And we don't know what we're going to do yet. We're contemplating of whether to go to the beach now or later. Figure out if it's going to be sunny. It's not really sunny now. Right there. Milana keeps dressing up in Martin's clothes, pretending she's going to play soccer. I don't know why. Milana, are you playing soccer again? I see. Do you want to put your clothes back on? Why are you doing it again? Why are you putting Martin's clothes on? You want to be like him? You love Martin? Yeah. That's nice. She wants to like play soccer. Oh, here comes the gymnast as always. I, I, I love my ribbon. Me too. Guess it's a good yes, thing. Okay guys, let's figure out what we're doing today. I don't want to go. I want to go to the pool. Yeah. I want to go to the park. Oh no, I want to go to Dollar Tree, get some floaties, and then go to the pool. Ah. That's what well, let's I figure it out. Be mine. I want my floaties. Okay, we'll see. Yes? I think so. Didn't you just have breakfast? I want to eat strawberry. Okay. I love red I can see that. See, it's like, it's 9, 9.46 in the morning. I don't have to do good enough. Here, Hi friends, just sharing what I'm doing here. So I never throw out the um, strawberry scraps from the strawberries. I cut them like that, not super thin. And so the reason I do that is because after that I make a juice from them. So I boil it in an instant pot for five minutes, add some maple syrup and drain it and have some nice juice all the time have it in my fridge now you can see it right there and so i love this because it is natural i buy only organic and i find that this is a lot better than buying any store bought because you make it yourself and there's only maple syrup and strawberries in here these green parts are totally edible just so that if anybody's concerned and when you boil them it's not a big deal. I do put a few strawberries that are real, like actual full strawberries, but most of them are just scraps. And then my kids are just eating here the other strawberries that we had. Yeah, just wanted to show you my tip on how I try to, basically when I cook, I try to use up everything that I cook with. Uh, just makes it easier, and I believe that it's a lot better this way than throwing it out as well. Hey guys, it's time to have tea or coffee. Haven't decided yet. I love big cups. I like to make enough tea so I can actually drink it kind of the whole day, if not half of the day. I'm gonna do mint tea today. Um, about a year ago, I said no to coffee in general. And then I said no to black tea, so I only drink uh, mint tea now. So the reason for that is because as I was drinking coffee, I started having headaches all the time, like all the time. So, and then with coffee, it's very interesting. I love coffee and we have this Breville machine, which makes phenomenal coffee. But the problem with drinking coffee is that one, it gives me headaches and two, it's kind of an interesting effect where I love the amount of energy and then all of a sudden I don't have that energy. So it's really interesting because um, I have it for about a few hours and then I don't have any energy at all. So when that started happening, I decided to give up on coffee. I did that about a year ago. And then now, after about half a year into not having coffee, I went heavily into black tea and I started having exactly the same thing with black tea. And so I stopped having black tea as well. And it is not until I started having only herbal teas that I felt amazing. Amazing. 
lots of energy energy does not depend on um, coffee or tea felt absolutely fantastic so I gave up on um, on the coffee and on the black tea now I only drink mint tea or like herbal teas oh and I love dandelion I have to show you how I make my dandelion because it's one of the best it is absolutely great it tastes amazing tastes just like coffee I have to show it to you I'll do it in another episode I don't feel like dandelion today it's kind of rainy outside and I really want a nice cup of mint tea I'm gonna do some errands maybe cook some food Milana is going crazy good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning guys it's Thursday one of my favorite days I love Thursday I love Friday actually I love every day but I especially love Thursday and Friday I don't know why it's something about like the end of the week I maybe it's because end of the week I'm always summarizing like what I have done I feel like Monday Tuesday Wednesday I'm running around getting things done and then Thursday and Friday I'm kind of you know cooling down getting ready for the weekend and kind of figuring out figuring out what else I need to get done this week this is probably why because I am the type of person that loves getting things done I mean there are people like that that just love getting things done I'm one of them I just love getting things done doesn't matter what it is I love that green check mark like it's done you know one of those highlighted things like it's done I love that so I always find very interesting that the end of the week I feel like it's kind of like summary so you can like you know scratch those things off that you got done over the course of the week so maybe that's why I really like the end of the week um, but yeah it's Thursday I'm gonna do some journaling today actually started to do journaling a lot more than once a month I feel like um, I feel like I need it I don't know for whatever reason I feel like my soul needs it maybe it's because everything is so new some of you may know that we're from Toronto and we just uh, came to Florida to open our new company here and so we are just kind of starting out living here and things are just out of the place it's chaotic we just got this condo nothing is in, in its place you know I, I don't even have paintings on the wall it's just it's kind of chaotic and so I feel like maybe because it's so chaotic things are not in their places the journaling helps me kind of summarize and put everything back into place like as soon as I feel okay you know, I'm nervous. I have so many things to do. I have this to do. I have that to do. I'm like, okay, Rita, you need to calm down, sit down, talk to yourself, write things down that are important and go on with your day. And so I feel like I've been doing a lot of that more, a lot of that inner planning, right? Not like, okay, I have to buy this or I have to go there. It's more like global scheme of things because there's so many things that I need to get done during the day. It's the kids, the activities, the cooking, the cleaning, the answering emails, the business part of things, the taxes, the receipts, and it just, the list goes on and on. I feel like that if you are like me and you have so many things to do, what helps is first, wake up in the morning, early in the morning, as early as you can. My time is about 6 a.m. I feel great. I have the time to myself. I have my run every single morning. And I feel like when I'm running, I'm really summarizing my day like I'm thinking okay today is so and so this is what I'm gonna do this is what's important this is what I need to get done today it's good time alone before the craziness of the day starts and then after my morning run I always have my um, celery juice all of you know that and then after the celery juice sometimes I have the breakfast in about half an hour to an hour sometimes after 12 it depends on actually depends on what time I finished eating the day before uh, most of the days I try to eat cut off is at 6 p.m. and if that's the case I wake up super hungry so after celery juice I'm super hungry and I can eat at 10 or 11 but if I ate later like at 6 30 or 7 I feel like the next day I can go on until 12. Uh, when it comes to eating honestly I've been through so many diets through so many different things and the only thing that helps me is just listening to your body if you like eating eat if you don't feel like eating don't eat if you feel like eating something eat if you don't feel like eating something don't your body knows what's good and what's bad for you could be veggies for for someone it's veggies for someone it's keto diet I don't I don't care what you're on you have to listen to your body if this feels harmon like you feel harmony eating that harmonical inside I don't know if that's even a word but if you feel that way like if you're eating fruits and veggies and you're like wow this is this give me power I love this I love eating fruits and veggies then go ahead and do it but if you're eating them and you're like oh I hate this this is not good then don't do it and don't listen to anybody who's going to tell you oh this is good for you your body knows what's good for you. If you feel like eating 
you know, um, calcium, and lots of yogurts, and, and that's your thing, and you like to drink milk, don't listen to anyone and do it because your body needs it. The only thing that you have to listen to, and this is the most important rule, for example, for me, is do not overeat. No matter what you eat, stand up from that table when you could eat just a little bit more. You will feel the difference. You will not gain weight that way. The problem with gaining weight is not what you eat, although many people think so. It's what you overeat because overeating is dangerous. The minute you overeat, that's it. What's important is being active and under eating. And I'm not talking about starving. I'm talking about you eating a healthy meal, whatever it is that you're eating. When you feel like, okay, I'm kind of full, but I could eat a dessert, for example. Stand up and leave. It means that you just have that little room, just enough for your body to digest what you've eaten and for you to feel great. That's kind of how I go by. Um, a lot of you that know me know that I've been on a whole bunch of things. I've been raw, I've been vegan, I've been vegetarian, pescatarian, you name it, I've tried it all. Um, I was on keto as well. I, I didn't find those things, I don't want to say they didn't work for me. Some of them worked, some of them had great results, some of them just didn't go with my body, didn't feel right. I am going to do a video on that maybe one day because it's a super long subject. I, I've done a lot of it and I have different things to share about that whole lifestyle. But what I came to, the most golden rule that I came to, doesn't matter what you're on and it doesn't matter what you eat, two things. One, stay active and second, do not overeat. Under eat just a little bit. Those are the two golden rules. Okay, guys, I'm going to go have my tea. Guys, I picked up these blueberries and they're organic from Peru. Look at the size of these blueberries. Look, look at this. It's unreal. I've never seen anything like this. Look at this. Crazy. It's really, really huge blueberries. I don't know. Sometimes it makes me wonder if they're this big. Are they really organic? Because I feel like a lot of the organic foods are a lot smaller. So this is kind of interesting. Don't know if they're really organic or not. But it said organic. And they are tasty. Just really big. Waiting for my tea. Want to go to the beach? The kids are saying no. But I'm going to make them go to the beach anyway. The weather is not the greatest. But I still really want to go to the beach. I love the beach. I need my waves. I need my salt water. really want to go just for an hour even. Just to swim a little bit and come back. Hi. Going to the beach? Yeah. Maya wants to go to the beach. She doesn't want to go to the to the bridge. Deerfield Beach has a really cool bridge, which I happen to absolutely love. But I don't know. My lovely tea. What, my love? Oh, I think there's somewhere there. The kids are fighting about something. Don't know what. Let's... What are you guys talking about? He's gonna give you what? Oh, in the game. I see. Okay, guys, dress up to go to the beach. It's going to start raining by the time we're going to get there. And I hope not, so let's let's go. We'll see you at the beach, guys.